you are turned on to Midwest Outdoors magazine. Since 1967, helping people enjoy the outdoors. Sponsored in part by Rapala Lures, Shakespeare Ugly Stick, America's strongest, most sensitive rod, Northwest Ontario, Canada, Abu Garcia, quality rods and reels for life. This week on Midwest Outdoors, we explore Rainy Lake and the towns of International Falls and Rainier in Minnesota. Walleye from the Bay of Green Bay. And it's ladies night at the gun range. It all starts right here, right now. This one's acting more like a walleye. Eaton size. Eaton size walleye, yes. There we go. That's a good start for our Rainy Lake adventure today, huh, Mike? <laughs> yes. This is Mike Williams, legendary guide up here in Rainy Lake International Falls, Minnesota, folks. I'm Roger Cormier for Midwest Outdoors. We got a special day, beautiful weather, midsummer fishing, and we're doing some walleyes, maybe some bass, and Mike Williams is gonna tell us about fishing in Rainy Lake and vacationing in International Falls in Rainier, Minnesota. Great family and fishing destination. Oh, they're liking your little rig there, Mike. Yes. How long a snell do you have? Oh, two feet. You don't want my little jig right now. They definitely want a rig. Maybe they want it a little suspended, huh? A little bit of current in here, and we're just kind of fishing the upcurrent side of this little reef. Oh, look at the big northern with them. About a 15-pound northern trying to eat this bass, and this bass is big. I mean, imagine the pike was trying to eat that smallmouth. <laughs> Jeez. That was cool. <laughs> That was something, wasn't it? Well, that's what, you know, world-class fishery like Rainy Lake, that's what you're gonna see first thing in the morning, huh? That was yeah, neat. Stand. They're beautiful fat fish here, aren't they? You can catch them lots of different ways. Obviously, a lot of artificials work on them, but real simple presentation you're using there, Mike, just a little sinker, a little, mm -hmm. a little light bait rig, and... Very, very hook, simple, hook, very, very effective. Hook with a night crawler. Big smallmouth. You know, Rainy Lake's a destination for trophy smallmouth. I mean, we're catching just some average size ones here this morning. Well, we're fishing for walleyes as well, but if you want to catch big bass, Rainy Lake is considered a top destination in North America for them. And there's just endless bays and islands you can fish them. Lots of shorelines, lots of shallow structure where they're spawning, and you can catch them so many different ways. All the soft plastic, top water lures, inline spinners, jigs, crankbaits, Jerk baits. Fly fishing. Fly fishing, poppers, <laughs> you bet. Smallmouth bass and Rainy Lake are synonymous. Oh, we got a scrapper again here. We're almost getting Roger. a double here. If I can get mine to finish nibbling on the crawler and actually eat the hook part. <laughs> oh, I think this is a bass. Oh, okay. But we'll see. Oh, yeah, he's really giving you a tussle. Oh, well, it's a oh big nice walleye. big walleye. Big walleye. <laughs> here, I thought I had a bass. <laughs> Fighting nice like one. a bass, but he's a walleye. In 10 feet of water. Yep, right up on the top. Oh, yeah. Real big one. Oh, nice. Walleye. Beautiful fish, Mike. <laughs> Probably a 23 incher, but he's five pounds. It's a fish that's living in the dark water. You know, they do have a little bit of a chameleon aspect to them. So if they're in, you know, in white sand, they get a little more pale. If they're in rocks, they get a little more black. Mike and I took a little break from fishing to visit one of the most picturesque locations here on Rainy Lake. This is Kettle Falls, right, Mike? Kettle Falls, my old home. Yep. Well, you know, Roger, I, I consider myself so very fortunate in being able to raise in such a beautiful part of the country. You know, in fact, it's so beautiful, we made a national park out of it, Voyager's National Park. And someone like me who's an outdoorsman, it's just, I, I think, the most perfect place imaginable uh, uh, with our, just our wonderful walleye and bass fishery that we, we've experienced so far today. Um, on in the fall, you know, with our grouse seasons and deer seasons and wonderful snowmobile activity in the wintertime with marked and groomed trails. And then to top it off uh, with the spring fishing for walleye and sturgeon on the Rainy River, I, I can think of a, not a better place anywhere. Whether you're visiting International Falls in Rainier with a group of fishermen, friends, or family, there's a variety of accommodations to choose from. 
two houseboat operations uh, in Voyagers National Park here. There's a number of resorts, both housekeeping and American plan packages available. Certainly bring your own boat. There's plenty of launches available, uh, marinas for any service issues you may have. There's guide services available. If you prefer to stay at a hotel or motel in the town of Rainier or International Falls, you'll find those available. Plenty of shopping and dining in International Falls as well. No one tugging on me here. I see that. Atta boy, you got him. What does he feel like? No, oh, he's digging pretty good. Oh, good. It's a nice walleye here. Yeah, a little large. A little too big for dinner, but that's yeah, okay. Nice. That was very fun. Very nice. Another one that's real dark in color, and look at the gold cheeks on that, how pretty that fish is. He ate it good, too. That's a good sign, Mike. There we go. There Here's the go. hook. Nice fish. Another dandy. Little too big for dinner tonight, but that's all right. Well, from the Native Americans coming through here thousands of years ago to the Voyagers hundreds of years ago, the fur trade, the logging trade, the Prohibition era and bootlegging. Mike, this is an area steeped in history. Just to prove our point, we're closing out today's segment. There's an old gold mine shaft behind us. That's something you don't see every day. Thanks for a great day of fishing out it there. It was a great day. Yeah. Thank you, Roger. Had a lot of fun fishing with you. Thanks for all the great storytelling, folks. If you'd like to experience Minnesota's vacation paradise, Rainy Lake, the Rainy River, Voyagers National Park, you can give them a call at 1-800-FALLS-MN, or you can go to rainylake.org to start planning your trip to Minnesota's vacation paradise, Rainy Lake. With Mike Williams, I'm Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors. Thank you.